Guns drawn, Belgian police stream down a street in Brussels searching for one of the most wanted men in the world. After an exchange of gunfire, Salah Abdeslam, the one surviving terrorist behind the deadly November Paris attacks, is wounded but captured alive. An ambulance has just uh, arrived because there are two people who are in the apartment who were shot by the police and one apparently is Salah Abdeslam. One terror suspect seen taken down by police here. It is unclear whether this is Abdeslam. The Belgian prime minister and French president together keeping close tabs. A crucial moment in Europe's fight against terror. Le premier ministre belge the Belgium and French intelligence services are cooperating on the investigation. This is an important moment, but we ought to let the Belgian police do their work without disturbance. The arrest comes just two days after Abdeslam's fingerprints and DNA were found in another apartment raided by police. A lucky break in a manhunt that had gone cold for months. In that raid, one suspect was killed, two others escaped, one possibly Abdeslam himself. Salah Abdeslam is the 10th ISIS terrorist behind the Paris attacks and the only one to escape alive from the deadliest terror attacks in Europe in more than a decade. Police nearly captured him during a traffic stop outside Paris just hours after the shootings, realizing who he was only after they let him go. He then led authorities on a global hunt extending from Belgium all the way to Syria, multiple allies involved including the U.S. The United States obviously has significant resources and significant capabilities, and we have used them to assist the French and the Belgians.